Greetings to all of you out there in the worldwide interweb. This is ScreenProtector.tv. I'm here to hopefully show you some tips on how to successfully install your screen protector. I do have a Kindle Fire here. Um, some of you may have seen I already did a Kindle Fire installation video. Uh, but we did get some screen protectors in that uh, actually are really close of a fit. Um, these are cut so well that uh, it's a lot harder to install. So as you can see here, I have it laid down. It fits really closely to the edge of the screen, which will make it more difficult, but it is not impossible. So first thing I'm gonna do, take my cleaning cloth that came with my screen protector. And again, this doesn't matter whether it's an expensive or a cheap screen protector, 99% of these dry apply ones should apply the same way with the same results. Um, so again, I'm wiping this down, get all the dust out. You might want to do this in a room that has low airflow so that the dust is not blowing around. Maybe try installing in the bathroom after running a hot shower. Uh, that'll weigh down some of the dust particles for you. But for now, this will suffice. So it looks like I got all the dust particles off of there. This is a clear screen protector. Again, this is doesn't matter whether it's an expensive or a cheap one. should in, install the same way. Uh, this one does have two tabs, so do pay attention to which one is first. I'm going to take this first one, and since this screen protector lines up so well with the device, I'm going to line it up to this longer edge first, um, and that should hopefully give me a better uh, alignment. So what I need to do is start pulling from this edge and go all the way to the edge. Okay, I'm going to flip this over. Line this up here. All right, and that looks like it's sitting in there nicely. So again, you can lay this down flat and just make sure that it's not gonna go all crazy with the other edges. The other edge looks like it's lined up nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead and start peeling this guy all the way off while laying down the screen protector. And it looks like we got a really good fit. So if you can see that, I got that right on the edge there and right on the edge there. Okay, and yes, you will notice there are air bubbles. Air bubbles are not a problem at all. So you should have gotten a squeegee or you can use just a credit card. Uh, any of these will work. And some of you may have this tab on here, some of you may not. So sometimes I like to use the cleaning cloth with the squeegee. Uh, so that I don't scratch up my screen protector that I just put on there. So I'll go ahead and squeegee out all these air bubbles. And I'm not going to bother to get them all out because I still have to pull off this top layer which will cause more air bubbles, which is not a big deal. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this one. So as I peel this off, I want to make sure that I put a finger on the screen protector to keep it down. I don't want to lift up what I just took careful uh, precision in laying down. And voila! So as you can see, I still do have some air bubbles. Not a problem. Uh, these ones I can actually get out with my cleaning cloth. And for those more stubborn ones, use the combo cleaning cloth and credit card. And I'll go all the way to the edge. And wow, this screen protector fits on there really nicely. Uh, but again, I know a lot of difficulties trying to put it on without uh, missing the edge and everything like that. But as you can see, it is very doable. If you take your time, follow some of the tips, uh, it's right up there to the edge. All the bubbles are gone. And I can barely even tell that the screen protector's on. So thanks for checking in to screenprotector.tv. Good luck with your installation, and I hope to talk to you guys soon.